and there he is. And there he's sporting Booker, that Davidson drip. All these months later, he is still the Hurricane Pro and Wildcat Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. A sport of new, look at that. Look at, look at Ryan. Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing about the, uh, you know, the pandemic, COVID-19, is definitely um, expanded, uh, excuse me, extended a lot of these guys' um, title reigns, an extra five months. And the thing is, uh, you know, a lot of these wrestling companies, you know, they still got to pay these guys. They still got to make sure they get the checks in the mail. Uh, same here, reality of wrestling, man. Our reality of wrestling champion, Brian Keith, he's, you know, um, held that championship for 10 months now, but he hadn't had a whole lot of defense under his belt due to the pandemic. So you don't know what kind of shape, you know, Brian Keith is in. And Brian Keith, I must say, he's one of those guys that when he's not active, he put on an extra couple of pounds, you know, around the old waste basket. Am I going to get free? Well, what's the name is still the same. Swisher House of Swisher Blast. Here he comes, the Lone Ranger of Reality of Wrestling, Brian Keith, the Reality of Wrestling champion. Hey, you got that dope house music playing in the background, but you see he got the puncho on it. He looked like he may have gained a couple of pounds, you know, just, just from the outset. I don't know if it's muscle. To me, it looks like 10 pounds, Booker. It looks like the 10 pounds of Reality of Wrestling gold that Brian Keith has been carrying around for almost a year, nearly 365 days, Brian Keith has been the champion of this company. Yep. And he won it from that very man in the ring. But, but there again, uh, he hadn't had a chance to defend it. I mean, Brian, Brian Davidson, this guy, even throughout the pandemic, he has tried to find ways to find small organizations that he can even just beat up on guys. I heard he was thinking about even joining the Raw Underground. So I don't know, man. Uh, this guy is definitely uh, somebody always working. Well, he's still sporting the Davidson drip, and there he is, the Lone Ranger of the row. But here's the thing, Book. We all thought when Brian Keith won this championship from Ryan Davidson, it was the luck that night. You know, he, he, lightning struck at the World Gym Arena, and Brian Keith captured the biggest championship. But that, to me, has turned out to not be the case. Brian Keith went out there again against Ryan Davidson, and he defended that championship. This man is a fighting champion, and he has earned his position in this company, in this match, at this time. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm not saying that, you know, Keith is not deserving of the championship. I'm looking at him right now, and he has that 1,000-yard uh, stare like most champions, like most gunfighters always have. Take 10 paces, and we'll do this thing. So uh, we're going to see exactly what, you know, uh, Brian Keith is made of here tonight, a guy who was once upon a time sitting out in the audience watching Reality of Wrestling, and then he said, I'm going to make a play, and look at him now. He's the Reality of Wrestling champion. Referee checking for a oh, oh, my. Wow. Talking about a mugging. That was a mugging right there. I think the referee yeah, incidentally rang the bell. I don't know what the hell's going on, but. Well, Ryan Davidson obviously still tipping on faux Vogues, and he made a drive-by attempt at Brian Keith. I mean, well, I mean. Ryan Davidson obviously heard something. They must have heard somebody blow their horn or something to, you know, to take out like that. Now Brian Keith saying that he can go. And there's okay, the Okay, there we go, go, there we go. And a bear there it is. Wait a minute, bear and, Oh, wow. But it knocked Brian Keith to the outside. Bad luck for Ryan Davidson. He could have got a three count right there. Absolutely. <laughs> Throwing Brian Keith back in, going for a cover. New champion, one, two, and a throw. Wow, wow, two and a half. I'll tell you right now, uh, Brian Keith, he's dazed. He's lackadaisical. And right now, if he can hit uh, some kind of big move, I don't care, that uh, that bear lariat one more time, maybe that that big bear that big bear bomb, one and one of the two, we can get a three count. A Davidson driver, I mean, he has many weapons at his disposal. Does the ever versatile Ryan Davidson but now the quickest kicks in the south are coming into play. There's a beautiful oh. drop kick. Ryan Keith recovering from that bear lariat pretty quickly, and he's going for the side effect. No, you can't get that right there. You can tell Ryan Davidson. 
Oh, spitting back heel and, kick. And missed too many meals. Or any haircut of points. You know, sport a new look is Ryan Davidson. I like it, though. You know, I mean, the, the, the thing is, Ryan Davidson has never been a small guy, but he's always been able to go out there and handle himself. He's always been able to, you know, you know, find himself, find his way around the ring. That's what I like about Ryan Davis. He's a veteran of the sport. He's definitely one of those guys that we call Gristle. Look, those chops seem to only be firing Ryan Davidson up. He says, thank you, sir. Can I have another? And a big drop kick there to the left knee of low, Ryan low Davidson. Drop kick. I think they call that the basement drop kick now. Oh, wow. And a body avalanche. Oh, beautiful suplex from the bear. Going for a cover on Brian Keith, one, two, and a kick out after two. Notice with that suplex right there, though, he landed a little bit high on the neck. I wouldn't call it a brain buster or anything like that, but it definitely shocks the body. And then he followed it up with a kick to the back of the neck to Brian Keith. I think you might be right, but he's found a strategy. And think about it, if you hit that bare Larry oh. in the neck, almost a five knuckle shuffle, one, two, just a fist dropping. Right in the grill that not even Johnny Dang could fix up after that. The I mean, uh, thing is, uh, Ted DiBiase, he had the old fist drop like that. Of course, John seeing the five knuckle shuffle, but the bear, he had a lot of momentum going into that shot. You can tell uh, it's something that inflict a whole lot of pain on a man. What do we call that? The bear claw? He called it the bear claw. <laughs> Ryan Davidson with the bear claw. And now a back suplex again, Booker, on the, on the upper shoulders. Lower neck of yeah. Ryan Keith. High vertical back suplex. One of the one of my all-time favorite right there. Uh, uh, guy by the name of a Magnum TA. He did it the best on uh, that high vertical suplex. Snapmare takeover. Now Ryan Davidson looking for a submission maneuver. Ryan trying to block it. He's trying to block it, but those oh. little shots, those little kidney, those little kidney shots. Now he's got him in a somewhat of a modified. Abdominal stretch. And just rearing back on the neck. Like a somewhat of a neck crank as well as the stretch at the same time. But um, well, Brian, it, it spells pain. Absolutely. And I think that Ryan Davidson came in with a game plan. He knows that he was upset before by Brian Keith. He doesn't cover, want to cover. go again. Oh no, I think he's gonna I think he's trying to choke Brian Keith out. You see his arms are flailing like he's fading, and now he's just putting all the weight that he can into his upper arms around the neck. Kind of like that Olenek boy constrictor. And, uh, Olenek is going to be in the, in the ring tonight uh, taking on Houston's own. Absolutely. Nobody reps Houston harder, though, than Brian Keith. He is so proud as a champion for this city, for this company. But right now, he is not in a great position as the champion. He's going to have to get the will of the people and cowboy up. Oh, well, I tell you right now, the, the strategy is called leaning on your opponent. That's what Ryan doing right now? He's just trying to, just trying to zap all the energy out of Brian Keith. And there again, we don't know what kind of shape these guys are in, but we got to find out here tonight. Oh, oh, man! Forearms. Now Brian Keith, like I said, book. He's looking to cowboy up. Master of the Rodeo DD. Oh, wow! A discus punch to the face. Oh, and a return shot. Nice little forearm there. Maybe a little bit closer to her elbow. And a tilt the world Rodeo wow. DDT. Booker, that's the Rodeo DDT. He's got to cover him, though. If Whoa. Brian Keith can get over to the cover, he will retain the Reality Wrestling Championship. But it looks like all of his energy has been sucked out of him. In this Texas night, like I tell you, no, it, it was the, uh, it, it was, it was, it was Ryan Davidson. Like I say, he was leaning on that man. He was trying to zap the energy out of Brian Keith in a big move like that. It takes a whole lot to pull off something like that, my man. Both men back to a vertical base. The quickest kicks in the south coming into play. A knife edge chop big to the chop, challenge. Big chop, big kicks. Oh, there it is. There's that side effect. He went for it earlier. Yes, One, two. Oh, wow. wow. Something that quick, something that explosive, that can retain the championship for Brian Keith. 
gonna have to do a little bit more than that to keep this man down, to keep his shoulders to the mat. He's going for a second rodeo DDT, but it looks like Ryan Davidson blocking it. Brian Keith trying to weaken him now. Oh, what is he doing here? Going for some kind of big suplex, but this is a big man to try to pull something off like that with Brad. That is not a good game plan from Brian Keith, and Brian Keith giving up on it. He's going for it! Oh, Ryan Davidson shifting his weight. That, that could be a broken rib. Oh, roll up to two. Wow. Whoa. Booker, a lot has just happened in the last 30 seconds. And wow. Now a big knee. He's out. Cover him, man. Cover him. Uh, Ryan Davidson does not know where he is right now. And I don't know why he didn't take your advice, heed your advice, and go He's for a for cover. Rodeo. He's going for that rodeo. He's going to try to call the calls. He's calling up the hogs. He's calling up the hogs. But Davidson. Davidson driver. The Davidson driver. Can he capitalize? Going over for a cover, one, two, three, oh, no. oh no, wow, a kick out after two from Ryan Davidson. People loving what they're seeing, we're hearing the horns honk at the World Gym Arena. Ryan Davidson now book. What is he doing? I, I don't think he's gonna. He's, he's not gonna try that. He's not gonna go up to the top and drop it. That Davidson bomb. He needs to move that poncho so he doesn't slip on it. And that might have staggered him. Brian Keith able to get the upper hand, knocking him off the ropes. And now Ryan Davidson's teetering on the apron. Ryan, what is Brian Keith doing? Ryan Davidson looked desperate right there, trying to get up to that top rope. What was he thinking, man? He was going for whatever he possibly could. He's already hit this man with a bear, Larry. Oh, right super on the chin. Right on the chin. This is it. And now, oh, third wow. time's a charm. Cover one, two, three. Oh, no, two and a half. The champion, not enough to beat the challenge. Wow. I cannot believe Brian Keith dug that deep to pull off that back suplex right there. Oh, the rodeo, but a jumping Insegiri catching the challenger behind the ears. He's the head. And another. Caught a second one right there. I tell you, man, Brian Keith looks like he's in great shape. He's defending the champion. And a fourth time. He's like a champion. And I tell you, man, he looks invincible. That was shades of ECW's Taz with that back suplex. And now a bear lariat though, Booker. He that ran right into it, that momentum that right knocked him out. No! Oh, what? A kick out after Wait one. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brian Keith, look. Something's going on, man. I don't know what's going on there. Brian Keith is hurt. Brian Keith kicked out it after a one and jumped up and fell right back down. He looks almost dazed and out of it. Davidson driver. I don't think that Brian Keith is with us right now. Two. And a kick out what though, that has to be muscle memory. That, that's just um, instinct, that's what that is right there. That's just instinct, I don't think this man, the referee might need to do something here. The referee may have to wear with all the understanding and know how to just stop it. Because I don't think Brian Keith is always at right now. I think something needs to be done. Look, Brian Keith barely moving. I think that you're right. I think the referee needs to check on the champion. There might need to be a stoppage to this. But now, the bear climbing back up to the ropes. What he did before, Booker, what is he doing? Ryan Keith laying down the bear. Oh my God, the spinning moonsault. I mean, two, three. We have a new reality of wrestling champion for the second time in his career. We need to get some help out here, guys. We need to get somebody in the ring to, to look after Brian Keith. Something's not right here. Something's not right, guys. Ryan Keith is not with it. He has barely moved. But Ryan Davidson Booker, the story right now with that. Let's look at it again. A replay brought to you by the King of Solar Screens. Look, Ryan Keith laying there. Ryan Davidson up at the top rope. And a spinning frog splash. One, two, three. Get some guys out here, man. We need to get some guys out here Brian Keith. This guy doesn't look like he's gonna, he's gonna have his faculty together right there. Doesn't seem like he's all there. I mean, he defended the championship honorably, but, but come on, man, come on. Look at that Davidson drip right now. Ryan Davidson, Booker, this is the story as well. He is the new reality of wrestling champion. And there's Jonathan Vega, he and Brian Keith, longtime friends. 
Uh, I do not like the scene that we're seeing right now, Brian. There goes Ryan Davidson, the pair, again at the top of the roll. Y'all know the champion now. 